Decades before the birth of the F-22 Raptors and F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter jets, Washington skies saw the flight of the first aircraft designed with stealth technology, the F-177 Nighthawk. Developed by Lockheed Martin in the 1970s in response to the U.S. needing an aircraft capable of striking high-value targets without detection, the F-117 Nighthawks entered service in secret in 1983. But what is unique is that the idea of a stealth fighter in the United States actually originated in the Soviet Union based on a 1962 paper written by a Russian scientist named Pyotr Yakovlevich Ufimsev, reported Eurasia Times. Entitled, Method of Edge Waves in the Physical Theory of Diffraction, the paper was ridiculed by the Soviet Union for being so impractical. However, Lockheed Martin's famed Skunk Works department, which developed the SR-71 Blackbird, saw potential in the equation presented by Ufimsev. This led to the development of a concept called the Hopeless Diamond, with a diamond shape which was very effective in reducing the aircraft's radar cross-section to improve its stealth capabilities, after which under the Pentagon, the F-117 was born. According to Alex Hollings, writer for Popular Mechanics, instead of building a plane and then incorporating stealth later, Lockheed Skunk Works started stealth design right away, and their design finds help where it's most unlikely. Soviet researcher Pyotr Ufimsev published a study analyzing how shape affects radar reflectance back. The Soviets didn't seem to have put much thought into the research, but thousands of miles away, it was an idea that Lockheed needed. The aircraft made its first flight in 1981 over Nevada and made initial operations in October 1983, 59 of the 64 F-117s built between 1981 and 1990 were production versions. In 1989, the Nighthawk was awarded the Collier Trophy, which is one of the most valuable aeronautical awards in the world. This award is awarded annually because it demonstrates the outstanding achievements made in the aeronautics and astronautics fields by the National Aeronautic Association. This single seat, Twin-engine stealth attack aircraft is made of aluminum, with the area around the engine and exhaust system made of titanium. In addition, the outer surface of the aircraft is covered with a radar-absorbent material RAM, with the radar cross-section estimated at 10 square centimeters to 100 square centimeters. The Nighthawk is equipped with a wide range of tactical combat arsenal in the weapons room which includes the BLU-109B laser-guided bomb, the GBU-10 and GBU-27 laser-guided bombs, the AGM-65 Maverick air-to-surface missile and the AGM-88 Harm. In addition, the aircraft's fly-by-wire controls were taken from the US F-16, and the engine in the non-afterburning version used the General Electric F-404 turbofan engines of the F-A-18 fighter jet. Lieutenant Colonel Keith Ghost Butler, an F-117 pilot who also flies the F-16 and B-2, said the Nighthawk was a cruel-looking jet with unnatural borders. Mystical, secrecy, aura flowing from every angle, I fell in love at first sight and never tire of climbing stairs to tie the jet around my back and take it out of the warehouse. The F-117 experienced a number of combat missions after being deployed in Operation Just Cause against military targets in Panama in 1989 and in Saudi Arabia. The Nighthawk during its deployment in Operation Desert Storm flew a total of 1,271 strikes with a mission success rate of 80% without losing or taking damage in combat. 
However, despite its extraordinary combat history, the U.S. Air Force decided to discontinue aircraft operations in 2008 as a cost-saving measure to finance development of the F-22 Raptor. The U.S. felt it needed a modern stealth fighter that was more sophisticated and much better than the F-117 Nighthawks. Despite the official retirement of the aircraft, several Nighthawk jets are still in operational condition and can still be seen flying over the area.